Alright, so today we are going to be checking out a mobile idol RPG game called Mythic Heroes from IGG.com. Now, this game has been getting a lot of attention recently. Like, I've been seeing it literally everywhere, and I was actually just going to play it by myself off camera to see what the hype was uh, all about, right? But then, recently, IGG contacted me for a partnership, which kind of worked out perfectly so uh, this video of course is sponsored but as always I'm not gonna let that affect my opinion of the game if I think it's awesome and you guys should check it out then I'll definitely say that if it's something that's you know not for me if I don't enjoy it as much then I'll let you guys know about that as well and lastly before we get into it if you guys are at all interested in checking this game out for yourselves after you watch this video, then make sure to head down to the link in my description and install the game through that link because if you do that, then you'll receive a welcome login bonus of in-game items valued at over $200 to give yourselves a nice head start, okay? So uh, yeah, with that said, let's get into it. We are on the first screen here that we see right after the opening animation plays and we've got our I'm guessing tutorial guide Hikate who says wake up summoner welcome to the ascension realm I am Hikate the spirit of the astrolabe I think astrolabe meet the captain of the sanctuary of light Baldur uh, greetings I am Baldur of Asgard Lucifer has started a rebellion. We need your help. That is the Infinity Tree. Its vortex leads to the continents of this realm. When you're ready, we will go. Okay, so we're gonna head into the campaign here. And we're going to fight. Uh, that is a shield of light, a sentinel of the sanctuary. We need to bring it back under our control. Okay. Light. And we are off. So it looks like the characters just fight by themselves, which makes sense considering it is a idle RPG, right? My energy is full. Tap on my icon to use my ultimate. Okay, so we're going to use Baldur's ultimate here. And there we go. We won. And we also got a new character, which is Muse, the goddess of music. Okay, so immediately one thing i've noticed is that the voice acting is really good it's like quality legit voice acting they definitely got like actual voice actors and uh the animations are really smooth it, it's a really smooth looking game it's like very very polished okay so we got muse now uh we can select muse for combat my ultimate is most effective in the center. Okay, so I'm guessing, yeah, we'll just move her to the center like that. And a fight. I have to activate all heroes ultimate automatically. So as expected, there is a auto button right there. So I guess the only difference that makes is that uh, if you don't have auto on, then you have to manually use ultimates, whereas if you have auto on, then they'll automatically use their ultimates. Okay, new character here, Hodor. Like from Game of Thrones, the guy that holds the door. Spoilers, by the way, if you guys haven't seen that part. But uh, yeah, Hodor, we got Hodor, we like Hodor. Uh, the Prince of Asgard. Is that you, brother? I am overjoyed to know you're alive. Odor, my brother, I was brought back to life by the astrolabe of truth to guard the sanctuary of light. I was devastated after harming you. Loki used my guilt and made me join the shadow arcs. Can you forgive me, brother? Of course, and I never blamed you. Let us join forces again. Well, that's nice. Uh, Summoner, this is my brother, my twin brother, Hodor. Or I'm guessing it's probably not Hodor, it's Hodor, Hodor probably. He has fallen into darkness, but please give him an opportunity to join our fight. A sharpshooter who excels in ranged attacks. Oh, that's cool. 
leave the battle to go to the hero preview. Okay, so we're gonna head out here, go to heroes, and click on holder. App or hold to level up, uh, oh, on the I'll level up button to level up the hero. The oh, so we can level him up as much as we want. Oh, of course it costs resources. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that. Let's go back, campaign, and back into the campaign. Select holder for Leave combat. The shadow, for you will never no one will escape will my, oh my god. Uh, missile teen, missile teen crossbow, fight. Tap to increase the combat speed. Oh, good. Okay, there's a two times speed. Nice. Couple of ultimates activating here. That's dope. That's dope. Yo, the animation in this game is so clean. It's super clean. Like I wasn't really sure what to expect because there's so many mobile games out there that. Um, you know, claim to be like high quality or whatever, and uh, it's very hit and miss, hit or miss, right? Like some of them are, uh, you can tell, very budget. This one, not so much, not so much. The quality is uh, very apparent here. Uh, Holder is our main damage dealer. Equip him with an artifact to unleash more power. Okay, so we got equipment. That's cool. Level 1, Sudarshana Chakra, which gives him 400 attack. Equip. I will never forgive those who drove Every hero can darkness. equip up to 3 runes into their orientation positions. Okay, so we can equip extra runes for extra stats. Fire rune gives 150 attack. Equip. And we can also Follow quick equip. Okay. Uh, tap on the fire rune to equip the highest level fire runes. Alright. This war has only oh, sick. Okay. Begun. Great job. Equipping three runes of the same element activates a power known as Elemental Resonance. And this gives the hero a bonus attribute. Which I believe is, for the first 20 seconds of battle, increased critical hit chance by 15%. Okay, that's good. Back to the campaign now. Alright, so we're learning the mechanics of the game, which is to be expected in a tutorial. Um, but it's essentially what I thought, man, it's like, definitely something that's right up my alley. I love, you know, collecting heroes, as you guys know from my Dokkan videos, collecting characters, and uh, also upgrading characters, getting equipment, loot, all that stuff, right? Oh, okay, we got another character, Hippolyta. Hippolyta, the queen of the Amazons. And um, I gotta say, the, the physics in this game. Quite something. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. We have a new hero. Hippolyta is the daughter of the God of War Ares. Okay, next level. Uh, some kind of boss fight. He looks a lot stronger than us because he has 5,000 attack. We have 3,000, so... In theory, we should get crushed here. We are at the Temple of Pure Light. If we capture it, we will regain the Sanctuary. Lucifer, we are here to expel you from this holy realm. Aha, expelled by you? <laughs> Clearly, I'm not a voice actor. That's my boy, Toonrami. But uh, I'm trying my best. I am Lucifer, the son of Dawn and the highest Sephir Seraphim. Seraphim. My throne will rest over the highest mount and above all of you conforming minions. Wishful thinking, Lucifer, you betrayer, you fool. You'll die a wanderer of Earth before that ever happens. Okay, yeah, so we're fighting this boss guy. He is kind of destroying us. Yeah, he's kind of crushing us. I mean, my, my guys are dead. Um, I mean, Hodor is still alive. And our Harp Girl is still alive. But otherwise, um... Embarrassing. Oh, wow. So I thought, yo, I thought it was one of those stages where like you just die, like they make you die so that you have to like, you know, regroup and like power up and stuff to like fight him again, right? But nah, we killed him. That was close though. That was really close. This is impossible, I cannot fall. A crystal materializes on Lucifer's chest. What is that? I think it's a dark crystal. 
You mean like the dark crystal that triggered the ancient war? I'm afraid so. It is absorbing Lucifer's dark energy right now. We need to smash this evil thing immediately. Let's smash it. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Smash, smash. <laughs> we did it. Uh, phew. Lucky to find it so early. Are we safe now? Not exactly. There are nine dark crystals. This is only the arrogance crystal. If there is one in the realms, the rest are somewhere out there. These dark crystals each have their own will, they find the strongest host and empower them. Meanwhile, the crystal inflames their dark desires to overwhelm their reason. Okay, so yeah, basically I feel like our first mission is to destroy all the dark crystals, or maybe that's like the overarching mission of the entire campaign. Um, okay, must find these crystals, destroy them all. Dark crystal always found the strongest host. We need to rebuild the Summoner Sanctum so we can summon more heroes. I like that. This war has only I like summoning heroes. When can we do that? Kingdom. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so it looks like we're going to do our first roll here, our first multi or single or whatever kind of summon. I don't care. As long as it summons, I'm happy. And we got our free multi here, right? Free multi. Standard summon, summon all heroes, 10% off 10 times diamond summons. Okay, so hopefully we get something good. Because uh, I don't want to have to reroll. But as you guys know, I have a tendency to do those things. But it's not really ideal. So, first multi. It'd be nice if it was like a guaranteed SSR. Or something like that. Respect my divine will. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so I didn't look up any tier lists or anything like that, but he looks like he should be good. Zeus looks like he should be good, right? So hopefully he is. Or does everybody get Zeus? Maybe everyone gets Zeus. Maybe I got excited for no reason. Oh my, Zeus, the god king of Greece is here. I can't believe my eyes. Okay, yeah. Never mind. I got hype for nothing. I'm pretty sure this guy's guaranteed. And I was just like, yo, I got so lucky, man. I got Zeus. He's gotta be the best. It's freaking Zeus. Anyways. Wait a minute. Here is a gear of time. With it, we will be able to accelerate the astrolabe. What is the astrolabe? The astrolabe of truth gathers energy from the movement of stars and the transformation of matter. It can provide us with resources to enhance our strength. Oh, so is this kind of like a potential system? No, it's not. Actually, it's more like a reward system, I believe. Tap on the astrolabe to spin it with a gear of time. Okay, so we're spinning it, and we get something. Great summoners need to stay focused. I don't know what that was. After one spin, a slot, or the slot where the pointer stops at, at is lit up. Rewards or skill charge-ups are possible. Tap the astrolabe to see if you can trigger a skill. Ah, okay. And that is... When all the slots on the outer rim are lit up, you can tap the astrolabe again to spin the inner rim. Oh. I like to look at the stars. They're the only consistent thing okay, in this world. Okay, so I'm guessing chaos. better rewards are in the like inner me, circle. All the rewards from the astrolabe will be stored on the trigger pile, tap it to claim them. Okay, so we got two diamonds, 500 coins, and some kind of puzzle piece thing, which I guess is maybe for like purchasing heroes. The astrolabe spins automatically, even when you're offline, claim its rewards the next time you log in. Let's accelerate the astrolabe for 100 spins. 100 spins. Okay, let's try that. Okay, fast forward. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have dozed Oh, off. wow. Okay, so with 100 spins, we got 14 gems, which I think are for summoning, and a bunch of other stuff. And we leveled up. Got 30 more gems. Okay, cool. I like the gems. Can I use them though to summon right now? 
Uh, each time when the core is filled with energy, huge rewards become available to draw. Spin the core to see what you get. Go 3,000, 3,000, please. Come on. Damn it. Okay, what is that? What is that? Standard summon scroll. Oh! Well, that's good too. I'll take that. Yo, that's free summon still. That's free summon. Yo, but imagine 3,000 gems though. That's like three multis, right? Okay, now we can finally summon for real, guys. We can finally summon for real. Hopefully, we can get an SR character. So, once again, I don't have to reroll. Let's go. Destruction brings back purity. Sweet. Okay, SSR character Gaia, the Titanus of the Earth. There is infinite wisdom in this uh, Ganesha, the god of wisdom. And I guess everything else is uh got a couple of other like purple guys, which I guess are like epic or like SRs. Um, so one SSR, a couple of SRs, and the rest are probably R's. Uh, Hodor is a dupe. Baldur's a dupe. Ganesh is new. But I'll take that. I'll take that. I mean, I'm not sure if it's guaranteed SSR, so if it's not, then it's pretty good, right? I'm going to say that's pretty good. I I'm going to say that's pretty good. Use the hero duplicates for hero ascension and enhancement. That's what I thought. Yeah, dupes are definitely useful in this game, as with most gacha games. I don't see much, Send. but I see your generosity. You got a lot stronger, as to be expected. Let's head over to the campaign. Let's do a level. Let's see how this goes. Um, fight. Oh wait, hold on. I need to. Replace somebody with Gaia, so let's replace this Valkyrie girl, Gaia. Fight. Okay, yeah, uh my team seems pretty strong. My team seems pretty strong. Tap to activate auto assault and automatically challenge the next level. Okay. Oh, so does that mean it's just gonna keep going, essentially? Like, I can just leave the game and let it do its thing? Yeah, okay, it's just gonna keep going. It's just gonna do its thing. So yeah, this is kind of the essence of idle RPGs, guys. You're basically able to, you know, leave the game to play by itself, and even when you're, you know, not logged in, even when you, you don't have the game, like, active, um, there's gonna be stuff happening in the background where your character is gonna continue to get stronger. You're gonna be able to, you know, come back and collect items, and um, you know, it's it's a it's a good type of game. I feel like to play on your phone because it's low maintenance, but at the same time, um, there's still a lot of stuff for you to do. Like once you're actually in the game, like upgrading your heroes, uh, summoning. Uh, collecting loot, collecting gear, doing missions, all that stuff, right? So, um, that's pretty much going to be a video, guys. I'm not really going to do too much else. Uh, we leveled up. That's awesome. But, um, I just want to give you guys my, like, final impressions before we get out of here. And, okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to power up my characters a bit more because they're starting to get destroyed. But, yeah, guys, um... I think it's actually a really, really solid game. I think it's a really well-made game. The, the voice acting is extremely high quality. It really is. The animations are mad clean. I mean, it's one of the better looking mobile games I've seen like this, um, period, you know? And uh, it's a game that I can definitely see myself playing for, for a while, especially because of how low maintenance it is, even if I'm like, you know, spending time playing a lot of other mobile games too. I can always just leave this to do its thing and then come back to it every once in a while, right? So, um, I would recommend it. You know, that's my honest opinion. I think that it's probably a game that a lot of you guys would enjoy. It's definitely worth checking out. So, once again, guys, uh, go down to the link in my description. Use that link. 
to install the game, get your login bonus of, you know, in-game items worth up to $200. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the game as well, because um, I think it's really good. I think it's really solid. So for now, that is all I got to say, guys. Um, Mythic Heroes Idol RPG from IGG.com. Big shout out to them and thank you for sponsoring the video, sponsoring the channel. And uh, like I said, guys, I, I'm not going to let that affect my opinions, of course, the sponsorship. I'm not going to let that affect my views on the game. I legitimately think it's a very, you know, good game. It's a well-made game. So uh, if it looks like something that you would have fun with, go check it out. Link in my description. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out